Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss how NMOS works like an inverter. Okay, and this is very important concept. If you able to understand this concept, then you can understand how a MOSFET basically works as an amplifier. And similarly, this concept will help you to understand the operation of CMOS also. Okay, so basically, let us start discussion. So this is the circuit basically for NMOS inverter. What we are doing? See this symbol carefully. I have drawn the same symbol here. So here a gate, then drain, and here source. Okay, the current symbol is coming out of the source. So obviously this is nothing but NMOS, right? You know this that for NMOS drain current enters in the MOSFET and via the source terminal the current comes out. Okay, now see what how the what is the configuration of this circuit see this is obviously the drain this part is the source and this is gate so basically we can say we are providing input in the gate we are taking the output from the drain so obviously if you observe that gate is input drain is output in between input and output the common one is source so this is also called common source okay i hope you have understood uh, you have understood why this is called common source because source is common in between gate and drain this is the basic concept clear i shall discuss clearly step by step slowly so that you can understand each and every concept in this circuit basically this circuit has very much importance so understand its operation very attentively okay and uh, i shall try to give my best okay so see obviously to understand the operation of mosfet you need to know the basic concepts obviously this is vital like you should know that when a mosfet should be in cut off when it should be in saturation when it should be in uh, linear or triode region like that okay so to determine all these things we need to know some values some voltage values one is called vgs or gate to source voltage another one is called vds that is drain to source voltage and how we check the conditions if vgs that is drain to source voltage sorry gate to source voltage vgs is greater than or equal to vt then in case of nmos we say that the nmos is basically in on state if vgs is less than vt then that is in cut off mode right similarly if vds that is drain to source potential is greater than vgs minus vt then we say the mosfet is in saturation region okay and if vds is less than vgs minus vt then we say mosfet is in linear or triad region right these things you know now for this circuit what is vgs and what is vds that you should understand see vgs is nothing but gate to source voltage that is gate potential minus source potential vab is equal to va minus vb similarly vgs equal to vg minus vs okay so vg means the potential which we are applying in the gate that is nothing but the input voltage vi right and vs that is source voltage c source is directly grounded so vs equal to 0 okay so vg minus vs that means equal to vg minus 0 and which is equal to vg and vg means gate potential that is equal to input voltage because we are applying input in the gate itself okay so vgs equal to vi clear this equation you should understand next see another important voltage is vds okay that is drain to source voltage and obviously vds equal to vd minus vs same case substitute vs by zero because source is directly grounded so vd minus zero then you will get vds equal to basically vd and see this is the drain of the nmos right and the drain is basically from the drain itself we are taking the output voltage and here one capacitor is also there which is called C out. What is the importance of the capacitor? I shall discuss later. So for the time being you should understand this that see V output 
there is output voltage we are taking basically from the drain so basically we can say vd equal to v output right so we can substitute that and we can get from from this equation we can clearly get that vds equal to basically v output so these two equations are very important for this circuit which is applicable one is vgs that is gate to source potential is equal to input voltage and then to source potential is basically output voltage clear now let us go to our discussion so basically so we should gradually increase the input voltage so what is this starting starting should be obviously v input is equal to 0 so when v input equal to 0 obviously vtn that is threshold voltage for nmos is a positive value you may have done already the lab experiment there you may have checked that uh, the threshold voltage of for nmos is coming around what 0 0.6 volt or 1 volt like that okay uh, so see uh, for this nmos the vtn that is threshold voltage is basically a positive value so we have to apply vgs uh, the gate voltage such that the vgs should cross the vt then only the mosfet will be turned on okay so let me take this condition when v input is less than vt okay so that means we can say v input is less than vt or we can say zero less than v input less than vt that means v input is basically in between zero volt and the threshold voltage for nmos which is vt or uh, 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 or more precisely you can say that is vtn that is threshold voltage for nmos so vn less than vt so that means indirectly we can say vgs less than vt because v input equal to vgs just on uh, now only i told you that v input is equal to vgs for this common source circuit so as the v in is less than vt so vgs is less than vt so as vgs is less than vt the nmos is in what cut off so channel is not formed right when vgs is less than vt channel never forms so current cannot flow in between source and drain so obviously uh, the transistor the nmos transistor is in cut off mode so id equal to zero okay now see carefully observe this circuit id is the drain current which is flowing through the rd okay we are taking the output across this node so what is the expression of v output yes correct very simple v output equal to vdd minus idrd now as the id equal to zero so obviously v output or for this case we can say the drain voltage for this configuration is basically equal to vdd because id equal to zero so no potential drop across rd right so we can say like this v output equal to vdd minus id at d is equal to vdd minus 0 into at d that is equal to vdd okay so we are getting v output equal to vdd when v input which is we can uh, uh, say in another way that is vgs is less than vt okay so plot this whenever we get some result then and there plot this because our aim is to prove that this inverse is basically an inverter so basically if we able to plot the input versus output graph and if we able to show this more for the smaller input voltage the output voltage is high and for the higher input voltage the output voltage is low then our job is done we can prove that that is acting that circuit is acting like an inverter right so see what is happening that we got our result that is this one that is v output equal to vdd when v input is less than vt here so see if we plot we are getting this type of graph this for v input varying from 0 volt to vtn that is 0 volt to threshold voltage for this mosfet what will happen the v output is basically equal to vdd in y axis we are plotting v output in x axis we are plotting v input and the y uh, that is output equal to basically vdd when the input voltage is from 0 to vtn and obviously the mosfet is in cut off mode Cut off mode, that's how I explain. That is in this case, VGS is less than VT. VGS is V input only, so V input is less than VT, so the MOSFET will not turn on, right? So it is cut off. Fine. Now, let us increase the input voltage uh, more than VTN. Okay, so they basically we have to consider this region, that is the right hand side of the uh, VTN. Okay, so let us check what will happen when V input is greater than 
Vt, there is threshold voltage for NMOS or we can say Vtn. See, this circuit is simple, but have you uh, just recall the circuit? Here, initially, I have attached one capacitor and here comes the importance of adding the capacitor. Okay, you will quickly understand. See, when V input is greater than Vt, we have to consider that case. Okay, so let me take... Uh, just recall the previous condition when V input was less than Vt. What was the drain voltage or V output? V output was equal to Vdd. Okay. So, as the V output equal to Vdd, so obviously this capa capacitor will get charged and it will charge up to Vdd. So, now when you are considering the V input is greater than Vdd, obviously one uh, condition is already there in our hand. It is V output is equal to Vdd when V input just we made slightly greater than VD, VT, right? So basically, what I want to say that is it was charged to VDD when we are starting this condition, right? Now see, uh, VTN, just let us, uh, uh, for simplification purpose, uh, for easily understanding purpose, let us take some mathematical value and which is also justifiable. That is, we, are not, we cannot take some absurd value which is not possible. Anyway, so Vtn is equal to 1 volt and V input equal to 1.2 volt. Why I have taken this value? Because I have to consider the case when V input is greater than Vt, right? So Vt for MOSFET is, let us take 1 volt. Actually, in lab experiment, you may get 0 0.6 volt. That does not matter. So let me approximately take 1 volt, okay? So, and V input, just we have just crossed the threshold voltage for NMOS, right? So let me take 1.2 volt for easily understanding purpose. And VDD, that is this voltage, obviously, you know that the, basically this becomes 5 volt, right? Now see, we have to check, first condition is clear, as the V input, V in is greater than VT, and I told you V input for this case is basically equal to VGS. So basically we can say when V input is greater than VT, so obviously VGS is also greater than VT. So we already got VGS is greater than VT, that means the transistor is in on state. We don't know whether it is in saturation or whether it is in linear. So we have to understand that, that in which state the transistor is on. Transistor is on fine, but for NMOS there are two states where transistor is on. One is linear, one is saturation. Okay, so we have to understand that and how we can get that result uh, just now I will explain. Okay, so we are getting Vtn equal to 1 volt, Vn equal to 1.2 volt, Vdd equal to 5 volt. Fine, how I got, I told you, just uh, Vtn is 1 volt, this is obviously one real time value and approximately real time value. V input just to check the condition, we have just taken slightly greater value than Vtn, Vdd is obviously 5 volt. Okay, this is how we take Vdd, you know this, right? Now, to check the linear condition or saturation condition, what is the condition to check this? This Vds, this drain to source voltage must be greater than Vgs minus Vt. If this condition is satisfied, then we will consider this MOSFET in saturation region. If Vds is less than Vgs minus Vt, then we will conclude that the MOSFET is in linear or triode region. Right? So, let us calculate the Vds value for this particular case. So, Vds equal to Vd minus Vs. So, what is Vd? So, see, here comes the importance of the capacitor I told you. So, previously, in previous case, V output was equal to Vdd, right? When V input was less than Vt. So, in that time, the capacitor will get fully charged and it will reach up, up to the value Vdd, okay? So, basically, the drain voltage is equal to Vdd when we have just crossed, uh, when input voltage is just crossed the threshold voltage for in MOS. Okay, that means when the input voltage, understand it carefully, when the input voltage just crossed the threshold voltage of in MOS, that means when the in MOS is just goes to on state from the off state, in that case we can take the previous value of the V output, right? Because V output was up to VDD, capacitor is fully charged. So basically we are getting V out, Vds as V output minus Vs. Anyway, 
Vs is grounded, right? So we, we are getting Vds as Vd, which is equal to V output because Vd is equal to V output, you know, right? So as capacitor was fully charged, so we can say Vd is equal to 5 volt because what is that? Capacitor was fully charged means V output equal to basically VDD, right? And v, uh, VDD we have we have assumed like 5 volt. So obviously we can say VD is equal to 5 volt, right? Now we have to calculate VGS for this case that is equal to V in. We have taken just assumption 1.2 volt, fine. Now we have to calculate VGS minus VTN that is VGS minus VT or overdriven voltage, right? So that is equal to 1.2 minus 1 volt that is equal to 0 0.2 volt. Now see, VDS is 5 volt. VGS minus VTN is only 0 0.2 volt. So we can say that this condition is satisfied. That is VDS greater than equal to VGS minus VT. And this condition when satisfied for NMOS, when the MOSFET is in saturation region. So we can conclude that when the input voltage is greater than 50, then the NMOS will come into saturation region. Okay. Many times people may get confusion that after cutoff, their linear region may come, then after linear saturation region will come. No, you have understood. I just explained mathematically that after cutoff, saturation region will come. And why? Because when V input is greater than VTN, then what will happen? VDS is greater than VGS minus VT is happening. Okay. Just now I have shown you. So obviously the MOSFET will be in saturation region. Right. Now what is the saturation region current formula? I equal to half into mu n into C ox into W by L into VGS minus VT whole square. I have neglected channel length modulation. If you uh, count that, 1 plus lambda VTS term will be there. So for simplification purpose, I just neglected. So anyway, we know this expression for output voltage for this particular common source MOSFET. That is V output equal to VDD minus ID into RD. Right? So see, now what will happen? VGS is basically V input, right? So as the input voltage is greater than Vt, that, that, that means the input voltage is greater than the threshold voltage for NMOS. So as the input voltage increases, that means Vgs increases, that means Id will increase. As Id increases, V output decreases, right? So basically we can get this type of graph. See, don't uh, un try to understand these lines. I will explain later, just for the time being, observe this graph carefully. How the graph is going on, you should understand it carefully. It is very, very important, okay? So, see, as soon as the input crossed the threshold voltage for NMOS, it goes from cutoff to saturation region, fine? So, as the current ID increases, when VGS or input voltage increases, basically, it is increasing uh, like square, means uh, with a uh, small change in VGS, there will be huge increment in ID, right? Because square term is there, right? So you can understand basically the mathematical expressions. So the decrease as the ID increases rapidly with increase in input voltage or VGS, the output voltage will also decrease rapidly. So see, the graph has, graph is very steeper graph. That means the slope is very high. In another way also, you can relate this graph. How? See, in the previous case, when V input was less than Vt, in that case, the MOSFET was in cutoff state and the capacitor was fully charged and V output was equal to VDD, right? That is this voltage it is directly getting. Now, as soon as V input becomes greater than Vt, what will happen? The capacitor will start discharging, right? Because now the MOSFET is turned on. Okay, so current will flow. So obviously V output will decrease. So, so the capacitor will start discharging. So see, try to relate. See, this graph is almost looking like discharging of capacitor. So that I have written here, like capacitor discharge voltage graph. Exponentially decreases, right? Capacitor discharge graph, you already studied in your basic physics concept. Similarly, it is looking like that. So you can intuitively correlate these two concepts also. So it is saturation fine. So one question may come in your mind. So cutoff fine, saturation fine. So is uh, 
there no condition will arise when the uh, transistor will go to in linear region yes there some after a particular uh, input voltage that condition will also arise when the mosfet will go to linear region but wait i will explain that no need to hurry we will go slowly by slowly we will gather concepts understand concept and will implement in some other place okay so case 1 case 2 over case 1 was v input is less than vtn case 2 was v input is greater than vtn case 1 for case 1 it is cut off for case 2 it is saturation fine up to this clear but our intention our now our aim is when the uh, mosfet will go to what linear region now see from the graph itself you can clearly understand that vds that means basically we can say vd or drain voltage or basically we can conclude like output voltage output voltage is basically decreasing rapidly so basically we can say the vds is rap rapidly decreasing because vds equal to v output right in the initially already i told and see what is happening as the input voltage increases so we can say vgs increases right so from the graph itself it is clear that vds is decreasing and vgs or v input is increasing so in s2 why we uh, went to the conclusion that the mosfet is in saturation because the vds was greater than vgs minus vt right now as the vds is continuously decreasing in saturation region and we are gradually increasing we, we are moving towards the which direction right hand side right so as the we are moving the right hand side so basically we can say we are increasing the input voltage so as the vds is continuously decreasing and vgs is continuously increasing you tell me what will happen after some time and observe the condition carefully initially vds was greater than vgs minus vt now vds is decreasing gradually and v gs is increasing gradually so after some time the condition will not be greater than rather the condition will be equal to because the left hand term is decreasing and the right hand term is increasing so this condition after a certain amount of increment of the input voltage or the gate voltage we can say in general for this case we can get this condition that is vds equal to vgs minus vt and what is this condition yes correct this is age of saturation okay that means this is the condition i will explain more in more uh, detail that is we can say in such a way when vds is just greater than vgs minus vt we say the mosfet is in saturation when vds is less than vgs minus vt we say the mosfet is in linear right so basically as the vds is gradually decreasing and vgs is increasing so from the greater than sign we can conclude up to equal to sign and we can get the age of saturation that means see what is happening for this graph you can say first it was cut off fine then it came to saturation also fine but as the input voltage is goes on increasing and increasing at a particular point it will, the mosfet will go to age of saturation and with this small increment of the input voltage the mosfet will go to linear clear see what is happening so see basically i will explain from the graph so as we are increasing the input voltage see what is the condition we got vgs equal to vds plus vt to get the age of saturation point okay so suppose the age of saturation point is somewhere here fine vds plus vt because input voltage equal to vgs right so we can write here so this point is vds plus vt and corresponding to this this is vds voltage you can clearly understand right so now just let us consider one point which is situated in the right hand side of this vds plus vt voltage so let me consider the a point for a point what is happening you tell me v input is greater than vds plus vt right carefully observe v input for this point is greater than this point right so vds plus vt so we can say we know that for this case v g s equal to v input so we can substitute that and we can get v g s is greater than v d s plus v t simple i have just substituted v input by v g s nothing else okay 
So we can rearrange this equation and we can get this equation that is P D S for point A is less than P D S minus P D. So what is this con condition? This condition is for linear region, right? So we will conclude that after the age of saturation, that means after this point, the MOSFET will enter into the linear region, okay? And finally, we get the input for versus output graph like this. Initially, cutoff, then saturation, then after crossing the age of saturation point, it will go to linear region. Why this is happening? What is the reason behind that? You know, I just explained. Now, carefully observe the graph. I have drawn a special uh, point in the graph which you should understand. See, in the saturation region, the output voltage is decreasing rapidly with increment of the input voltage. But as soon as the MOSFET is entering in the linear region, the graph becomes less steeper. That means in the linear region, what is happening? Carefully observe in the linear region with the increment in the input voltage or the gate voltage or with the increment of the VGS, the output voltage or the drain voltage is basically decreasing, but the decrease rate is smaller compared to the saturation region. Understand it? From the graph itself, it is clear. Now you should understand why. Because you are engineer, right? You should understand every point, the reason behind every point. So now let us go to the reason. Very easy. This is the curve for ID versus VDS. Drain current versus drain to source voltage. This is the curve. And this point, this point is basically, uh, will this uh, voltage will satisfy the age of saturation condition. And uh, in the left hand side of the age of saturation, the MOSFET is in linear region. In the right hand side of the saturation region, uh, age of saturation voltage, the MOSFET will be in saturation region, right? Now, you can clearly observe from the graph itself that in saturation region, if you consider the ID value, that is greater than the ID value for the linear region, right? So that the graph is happening like that. So we can conclude that ID saturation is uh, basically ID saturation is greater than ID linear. Sorry, I have uh, defined wrong symbol here. That will be greater than symbol instead of less than. Sorry for this mistake. Anyway, so ID saturation is greater than ID linear, right? Because in the graph itself, it is clear that the saturation current is greater than linear current. Okay. So, and what is the output voltage expression? VDD equal to I, uh, VDD, V output equal to VDD minus IDRT. So, as we are moving from the saturation to linear in the MOSFET, so what will happen? The ID will decrease. So, as the ID decreases, so what will happen? Uh, compared to saturation region, ID will decrease. So, uh, as ID decreases, so V output will decrease but it will decrease in what? In means it will decrease slowly. Okay, it is not like steeper graph uh, like in case of this saturation region. So basically, the main funda is when the MOSFET enters from saturation to linear, ID decreases. So as the ID decreases, you know, as the ID decreases, then output voltage increases, right? So, but here output voltage cannot increase, obviously, right? Because VDD minus IDRD, anyway, subtraction will be there. So, basically, the rate of decrease in the output voltage will become uh, lesser, okay, compared to saturation region. So, this is how NMOS works for common source mode. Now, you tell me, what is this graph? We already got the graph. We already got the explanation. One more thing left. What is this graph? For smaller input voltage, we are getting high output voltage. For higher input voltage, we are getting low output voltage, right? See here clearly. For smaller input voltage, high output voltage. For higher out input voltage, low output voltage. So obviously, this is nothing but not get type right that means it is acting like an inverter so in this way the nmos works like an inverter 
so this is all for my this video so you should understand just this concept after cut off the inmost enters into saturation region then it goes to linear okay so this is all for my this video thank you for watching